As civil-military relations, the dynamic interplay between civilian authorities and the military are crucial for peace and security in Africa. A healthy relationship ensures the military's subordination to civilian control, promoting stability and democratic governance. When this balance is disrupted, it can lead to conflict, instability, and even military coups. Effective conflict management relies heavily on well-defined civil-military relations. A professional, nonpartisan military is better equipped to respond to security threats and protect civilian populations. Clear lines of authority and accountability are necessary to prevent the military from becoming a political actor. In many African states, the legacy of colonialism and post-independence struggles has shaped civil-military dynamics. Military intervention in politics has been a recurring theme, often with devastating consequences. Coups disrupt democratic processes, undermine institutions, and can lead to protracted periods of instability. Establishing and maintaining healthy civil-military relations is paramount for building lasting peace and security in Africa. This essay will explore the complexities of civil-military relations in Africa, examining the challenges and potential solutions for fostering stability and promoting democratic governance. This includes examples of where such measures have worked. Military coups pose a significant threat to political stability and democratic progress in Africa. These seizures of power disrupt constitutional order, undermine institutions, and often lead to violence and human rights abuses. Recent coups in Mali, Guinea, and Burkina Faso highlight the fragility of democratic gains and the recurring nature of military intervention in politics. The consequences of military coups are far-reaching. They often result in the suspension of constitutions, the dissolution of parliaments, and the imposition of military rule. This disruption of democratic processes creates a vacuum of power, leading to political instability and uncertainty. Furthermore, coups can trigger violent conflicts as rival factions compete for control. Civilians are often caught in the crossfire. Coups also have a devastating impact on economic development. They discourage foreign investment, disrupt trade, and hinder economic growth. Addressing the root causes of military intervention, such as weak governance, corruption, and socioeconomic grievances, is crucial for preventing future coups. These issues need to be addressed to ensure long-term stability. The African Union, or AU, plays a vital role in promoting peace and security in Africa. The AU has developed policies to prevent military coups and support security sector reform. These efforts are essential for fostering stability and preventing conflict. The AU Peace and Security Council takes action against unconstitutional changes of government. The AU's security sector reform policy enhances the professionalism and accountability of security forces. Politicizing the military poses a significant threat to stability and democratic governance. When the military becomes entangled in partisan politics, it undermines its professionalism, impartiality, and effectiveness as a national security institution. Therefore, maintaining a professional and nonpartisan military is crucial. Military professionalism entails adherence to a set of core values, including loyalty to the Constitution, respect for civilian authority, and impartiality in political affairs. A professional military is focused on its core mission of defending the nation and protecting its citizens rather than pursuing partisan political agendas. This focus is essential for maintaining public trust and ensuring the military's legitimacy. When the military becomes politicized, it can be used as a tool by political actors to achieve their own objectives. Maintaining military professionalism requires robust civilian oversight mechanisms, clear legal frameworks, and a culture of respect for the rule of law. It also requires ongoing training and education for military personnel on the importance of professionalism, ethics, and human rights. These measures are essential for ensuring that the military remains a neutral and effective instrument of national security. Civilian oversight, a cornerstone of democratic governance. Robust civilian oversight ensures the military remains accountable. Parliamentary committees, Independent bodies and a free press play crucial roles. Transparency and accountability maintain public trust in the military. Section 6. Security Sector Reform – A Path to Sustainable Peace Security Sector Reform, or SSR, is a comprehensive process aimed at transforming security institutions 
including the military, police, and justice systems, to make them more effective, accountable, and responsive to civilian needs. SSR is essential for building sustainable peace and consolidating democratic governance in Africa. SSR involves a variety of activities, including reforming military doctrine and training, strengthening civilian oversight mechanisms, improving human rights compliance, and promoting good governance within the security sector. These reforms aim to create security institutions that are professional, impartial, and respectful of human rights. SSR must be tailored to the specific context of each country, taking into account its unique history, political dynamics, and security challenges. Effective SSR requires a holistic approach that addresses not only the technical aspects of security sector reform, but also the underlying political and socioeconomic factors that contribute to instability. The international community plays an important role in supporting SSR efforts in Africa. However, it is crucial for SSR processes to be nationally owned and led to ensure their sustainability and effectiveness. This is essential for long-term success. Section 7, Constitutionalism and the Rule of Law, Essential Frameworks. Constitutionalism and the Rule of Law provide essential frameworks for regulating civil-military relations and ensuring democratic governance. A strong constitutional framework that clearly defines the roles and responsibilities of civilian and military actors is crucial for preventing military intervention in politics. The Constitution should establish civilian control over the military, define the military's role in national security, and provide mechanisms for civilian oversight. It should also guarantee the fundamental rights of citizens, including the right to freedom of expression, assembly, and association. The rule of law requires that all individuals and institutions, including the military, are subject to and accountable under the law. Promoting constitutionalism and the rule of law requires strengthening judicial independence, building the capacity of law enforcement agencies, and promoting a culture of respect for the law within society. It also requires educating citizens about their rights and responsibilities under the law. These efforts are essential for creating a society where the rule of law prevails and the military is firmly under civilian control. This is the basis of a functioning democracy. Mali's recurring coups and instability. Mali has faced multiple military coups, revealing fragile democratic institutions and unstable civil-military relations. These coups have devastated political stability, security, and development. The 2012 coup ousted President Touré, triggered by a military mutiny over the Touareg Rebellion. The 2020 coup removed President Keita after protests over corruption and security mismanagement. Addressing root causes and international support are crucial for Mali's stability. Section 9 case study, the complexities of Nigeria's civil-military relations. Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, has a complex history of civil-military relations. The country has experienced several military coups since independence. Since 1999, Nigeria has made progress in democratic governance, but challenges remain. Security challenges like Boko Haram have shaped civil-military relations. The military's role in security has increased its influence and power. Addressing military legacy and promoting professionalism are crucial for stability. Section 10. The Role of International Partners in Supporting SSR International partners play a crucial role in supporting security sector reform, or SSR, efforts in Africa. They provide financial and technical assistance to help countries implement SSR programs, including training security personnel, strengthening civilian oversight mechanisms, and promoting human rights compliance. This support is essential for building the capacity of African states to manage their own security. International partners also share best practices and lessons learned from other contexts, providing valuable expertise and guidance to African countries undertaking SSR. However, it is crucial for SSR processes to be nationally owned and led. International partners should play a supporting role, respecting the sovereignty and leadership of African countries. Effective coordination among international partners is also crucial for avoiding duplication of efforts and maximizing the impact of SSR assistance. A coordinated approach ensures that different partners are working towards common goals and that their efforts are complementary. This maximizes